Hello, it's Heather and Phil, and we are on a Kilimanjaro Safaris truck here at Animal Kingdom. We'll be doing an Animal Kingdom video today, and we're starting out doing a safari. Heather has brought her R7 and her 100 to 500, and I brought the 100 to 400 and the 70 to 200 2.8, and it's been raining all morning, so I've decided to use the low light lens. It'll give me 320 millimeters full frame equivalent, which is really I would like more than that on the safari, but I think it'll I'll be able to get by. All right, here are our photos from the safari. This is an okapi, which is related to the giraffe. Here's my photograph of a black rhinoceros, really large animal, obviously. This is a common eland. Both Heather and I got a photograph of this. And here is a giraffe. The giraffe are some of the most favorite animals on the safari ride. And I always try to get as many shots of them as I can. Here's another giraffe shot feeding. Here are some zebra. The one on the left is really excited about something. I'm not sure exactly what. Here's the cutest animal on the Disney World Safari. This is called a spring bok. And this next shot is somebody asked this giraffe what they thought of the safari. And he said, piss on it. Next up, we have a male uh, African elephant, really beautiful animal. Next up, the first time I've ever gotten a shot of one of these on the safari, this is a bless bok, really beautiful. And next up, we have the lion. This is the male lion there. And next up, we have my photograph of the white rhino. And I believe next we'll start with Heather's photographs. This is the common eland, and she got a shot of it at the same time that I did. And next up, we have Heather's shot of the giraffe, and she was shooting with the 100 to 500. I did all of my shots with the 70 to 200. Here is the male elephant. I got a shot of the male. And the next up is one of the female elephants, which I did not get a shot of those. So good job for Heather to get that. Here is the male lion, which both of us got a photograph of. And Heather also got a photograph of the white rhino. There's several white rhino. You can see more in the background. The safari ride went well. Uh, I think the 70 to 200 was a really good lens for it, especially on a 100% uh, overcast day like we have today. And now we are going to walk along the Gorilla Falls Expedition Trail. All right, we'll start out with the most common bird in the Gorilla Falls aviary, and that is the golden weaver. So many of these there, and they're called weavers because they weave their nests. Here's one that they've named. It's an African jacana, and the cast member told me that they have named this bird Jimmy, and it wandered around quite a bit, and we enjoyed making photographs of it. Next up, I made a couple of photographs of this beautiful snowy crowned robin chat there, and it was in a really dark area, and I started out at 1 200th and needed a lot of ISO, and I slowed down to 1 60th. Next up is a red and yellow barbet. We got photographs of these last year in this area, and here is the white-headed buffalo weaver. Beautiful bird. This has been on the cover of one of my Animal Kingdom videos. Next up, we have a green wood hoopoo. That's kind of an unusual name. And here's my last photo from this area, and it is a Bruce's green pigeon. Now we're on Heather's photos. This is one of the larger birds in the area. This is called a hammer cop. And also Heather got some photographs of the African jacana that the cast member told me was named Jimmy. It was uh, had a lot of personality as it wandered around the aviary. And Heather has photographed the red and yellow barbet. Look at all the speckles on its feathers. Really amazing looking bird. And Heather did a nice job capturing it. Next up, Heather's captured a photograph of the white headed buffalo weaver. And it has some nesting material in its mouth. And she got another photo of the white headed buffalo weaver. And her next photo is of a bird I didn't get a shot of. Just a beautiful bird called a violet backed starling. Look at that beautiful purple. And she also got a photograph of the Bruce's green pigeon there. The bird aviary is one of our very favorite parts in all of Animal Kingdom here at the Gorilla Falls Expedition Trail. And Heather and I got about halfway through it, really working, finding lots of birds, getting some good shots. And then we realized we have a fast pass for Expedition, Expedition Everest in 10 minutes. So we're gonna come back. This is Heather's first ever ride on Expedition Everest. 
She's going to love it. Woohoo! Hi, Casey, in the end. Did you like it? Yeah. Did you like it? It's so good. It's really I good. told you, it's the best roller coaster in the world. It is so good. Are we going to get lighter? I think probably so. Look, there goes a the drop right there. Everest, we came to Flame Tree Barbecue where we always eat lunch and we come here because the food's pretty good and in the dining area is this beautiful pond which doesn't have any official Disney World wildlife but you can usually find some beautiful birds. I've seen tricolored hare in here, great egret. Today we have mostly ibis but uh, we've had some intermittent clouds and there's been some fairly good light every once in a while and let me show you some ibis pictures from here. Here is a white ibis, and all of the birds in this area are wild birds. They're not part of the show there at Walt Disney World, but they come there because they can find some easy food from the restaurant patrons, but just beautiful birds. Here's a duck that I photographed in the pond. The red reflections are of an umbrella over one of the tables. This is one of my favorite pictures of the entire video, a resting female mallard there at the edge of the pond. And here is one of the mallards that was stretching its wings and shaking some water off. And last up is one more white ibis that was walking along the fence. You can see the waterfall in the background on the right. All right, after Expedition Everest and another ride on Flight of Passage, we are back at the Gorilla Falls Expedition Trail Aviary. And looks like they've put a little bit of food out so we might see even more birds than last time. Here is a beautiful emerald starling that was there in the aviary. And look at these. I made three photographs of the hammer cop. And I love these shots because you can see the water full of African cichlids below. This second shot, you can really see the beautiful feathers on the back of its head. And in this third one, it's looking at me like, hey, how you doing, Mr. Cameraman? How are you? Next up is a marbled duck, just beautiful. And you can see lots of African cichlids in the water below. Here is another one of the buffalo weavers. I caught this one while it was singing, so I thought that was really cool. Here are a couple of marbled ducks, and you can see one beautiful blue African cichlid in the water below. This one is called a black crake, and I don't think Heather and I have ever photographed it before. Now we have the African spoonbill. Just love all the spoonbills, and here's an African one. And this is the um, golden orb weaver, and you can see it weaving its orb. Here is a purple starling, and it's looking at me like, hey, what are you looking at, camera boy? Next up, we have a beautiful African spoonbill doing some preening. And after that is an African olive pigeon. This is Heather's shot of the African olive pigeon. And next up, we have a couple more of the golden weavers. Just absolutely beautiful job Heather did capturing these. Here's another one with a nice uh, kind of head position. And next up is an emerald starling. Just look at the beautiful colors. There's ju not just greens, there's also beautiful purples. And here is the black crake. Heather got a beautiful photograph of it with its great red eyes. Next, Heather's shot of the marbled duck. There were quite a few of these in the area. And next up is the world's smallest duck. It's the African pygmy goose. It's funny to me that this duck is called a goose. And here are a couple of golden weavers, lots of great colors in these birds, not just the golden color, but lots of uh, oranges and even browns in there. And Heather loves spoonbills, so we'll take a few shots of these beautiful African spoonbills. She got a couple of shots of the African spoonbill preening and uh, really nice and sharp on the eye. There's a little bit of blue to their eye. And here it is just kind of perching there at the Gorilla Falls Expedition Trail. Now we're at the bird show after running all the way from the Gorilla Falls Expedition Trail. Got really hot during that. And uh, anyway, now we're at the bird show and we'll try to get some shots from here. This amazing bird is a trumpeter hornbill and it flies all around during the show. And during parts of the show, it flies up in the air and catches grapes. And I got a shot of it on the way to get the grape but the catching the grape shot was out of focus. Here is a raven that comes out in the audience and takes your money. Later, it brings it back. And there's also a beautiful great horned owl that comes out and flies around a little bit during the show. Here is a huge bird called a marabou stork, just absolutely huge, and we get to see it fly around. Next up here is a blue and yellow macaw. 
And we'll start off with Heather's photos now. She's captured a red and green macaw there on a perch. Really nice shot. Here's a toucan that comes out and you get to see it during the show. And Heather also got a shot of the trumpeter hornbill that comes around and catches grapes. And she made a couple of shots of the great horned owl. And there it is where it comes out onto the show. And here it is on one of the perches. And the next bird is the yellow-headed Amazon that's named Keto. In some of my other videos, you can see this bird and hear this bird sing Old MacDonald Had a Farm. And the last bird you get to see is the American bald eagle named Hope that they always bring out at the end of the show. And now we're going on the Maharaja Jungle Trek, which may be my very favorite part of Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. Well, it, I'm very sad to say that the bird aviary at the Maharaja Jungle Trek is closed for maintenance. They're doing maintenance on it and the nearby raft ride at the same time. So that's a bummer, no birds from the Maharaja Jungle Trek. The good news is we got to see the tiger very briefly as she looked rather sad walking around her enclosure. Here is the tiger that can be seen on the Maharaja Jungle Trek. And we don't really go for the tigers, we go for the birds, but while there were no birds to be seen, we checked out the tiger. We're down here on the hill that leads in from the entrance of the park to the main part of the park. It's not on the island, you cross a bridge to get to the island. And there's all sorts of uh, areas here, and I really love this one. There's, there's lots of wild white ibis that are opportunistic coming in to try to get some food, but there's also some, uh, all sorts of ducks in here, but my favorite are the canvas backs. We'll start out with some mallards, which are a duck you can find in America, and these are wild ducks. They're not part of the exhibit, they're not captive, but they're just kind of hanging around there, maybe getting some easy to find food. And I got some photographs of this mallard that had been doing some diving and now it's come up and is drying its wings off, which is a beautiful way to photograph a duck. And I thought these shots turned out really nice. This is a redhead, which is another duck you find in North America, but this one is captive and part of the show. And next up, this is a plumed whistling duck, which we believe is from Australia. So it's definitely part of the show. Here is another shot of the redhead as it's drying its wings off after doing some diving. And here is the canvasback. This is a female canvasback, which is another duck you find in North America. Here is the male canvasback. And all of these canvasbacks are captive. They are part of the show. And I just love to photograph these beautiful canvasback ducks. Next up is a red-crested pochard, which is a duck from the old world. So it's definitely ca uh, captive and part of the show. Well, today is our last park day and we have worn Animal Kingdom out. Uh, I still am sad that the Maharaja Jungle Track Bird Aviary was closed, but otherwise it was a really great day of photography, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye from Disney's Animal Kingdom Theme Park, Orlando, Florida.